Look, Daddy, it's you. Let's go out to play, Daddy. is Eleanor, and she is mine. Now, kneel, please. Remove your helmet. Now, take the pistol. Place it against your head. sleeping for such a long time and Eleanor has missed you find her and you'll be all better ah oh, at last a signal you who are bringing this dead city to life listen my name it is Tannenbaum I know who you are, and I am in much need of your help. Please, find me in the Atlantic Express train station. In weeks. I don't... This is Dr. 
Dr. Sophia Lamb with a message for the people. Remember, you are not alone. Think of me not as leader, but as mother to the Rapture family. In that suit, even the ocean cannot harm you. This is good. But rapture is the death of many great men. Alone, you will not last long. You can still reach the train station. Find me there. Delta. You arrive as the little one said you would. Come upstairs to the ticket booth, and I will offer what I know of you. marks you a dead man. Ten years, Subject Delta, since I watched you put a gun to your head and pull the trigger. But take heart, out of your pain, paradise was born. 
I don't know how you survived, but your suffering is over now. These men will ease your burden. Please understand that like all I have done, this is an act of love. It is Sophia Lamb. She has found you. Now you know of the enemy we share, Sophia Lamb. The camera in your helmet allows me to watch through your eyes and help you to fight her. Careful, security cameras belong to Lamb. But if you are clever, they can be made to serve you. It's me, Eleanor. I know you're awake in there. I can feel it. Mother won't be able to... to toy with you like that ever again. This plasmid is for you. If I'm right, you can use it now. Please, find me. Sophia Lamb is using the splicers against you. Most big daddies are like her slaves, guarding the little ones. But someone has awakened you. I know of your bond with Eleanor Delta. To save yourself, you will come for her. But Eleanor has a destiny. One you cannot share. There is no place for you in paradise. what the children tell me. You are a very old Big Daddy, bonded for life to a single little one. When you are apart for too long, your body begins to shut down like a coma. As long as the girl is in the rapture, you are trapped here as well. The name of your little one is Eleanor Lamb, daughter of Sophia. She is kept at Fontaine Futuristics on the other side of the city. You must go there and save her before it is too late. You see? This is why I must fight Sophia Lamb. She is using the new little ones for... for something. And I have returned to rescue them. If I do not, more children will die for my sins. And the rapture nightmare it will repeat forever. Now, we must talk... Citizens, Citizens of rapture. rapture. This, this is, is Subject Delta. Delta. Behind, Behind that mask hides an enemy, enemy of, the of the people. people. Without, Without soul, soul or sympathy. Or sympathy. It, is it is a beast, a beast apart. apart. And as family, we must tear out its jaw and drive it back into the sea. Lamb will take this place apart to find you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape.
Thank you. Now I must leave you, and I am sorry for this, but there are others I must help before the city drowns. This man Sinclair, he is an ally, and will guide you to Eleanor. Goodbye, Herr Delta, and good luck. Well, look at you. A bona fide knight in armor, complete with iron horse. The name's Augustus Sinclair Sport, Esquire. Old Tannenbaum and I share an interest in the old Fontaine building, the very same place you'll find Eleanor Lamb. I think you and I can do business. Take the train to Ryan Amusements. I'll see you shortly. Whoa there. Now better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. Jam dandy. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Now, that big daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to Lil Sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good. Take a breath, son. You did it. Now, just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. Daddy, you... We're in business. Now, there are corpses all over Rapture and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them. Find one. She's got a juicy one, but when she starts draining out the atom, the splicers will come running. Be ready before you set her down on that body. We've almost got enough Adam now. To get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. There should be one of the air vents they favor in the workshop. Bring her down there. Now, Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more atom than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers. Well, 
how a tin man had a heart all along. Personally, I call that a liability, but you have enough Adam now. Barely. Head to the Hall of the Future and splice up with Incinerate. So, you would drain the people of their life's blood. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice, and Big Sister is the hand. When Rapture speaks of you, it says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done. son. Not even a big sister can keep you down. Well, come on back and melt the ice and we can say goodbye to this two-bit carny ride. Outstanding, sport. You're proven to be quite a windfall. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there and I'll come out and jump on. to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid, we're going places. I had thought you some golem of Sinclair's, brought here to hold Rapture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no, you are aware of your plight. Who, I wonder, would be so cruel? to force a mirror on a man with no face. Lamb was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. What you want? <laughs> <laughs> trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn city-wide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. I remember you, monster. You stole, stole Eleanor from, from me. me. Twisted, Twisted that baby girl into a into thing so, so sick it can't even, even die. And now, now you come swanning into, into my neighborhood, neighborhood looking, looking for me. me. Wrong, Wrong turn, turn Tin Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, last. I, want I want you to you remember, remember my face. Eleanor's grown now, baby snatcher. Even after what you did to her, Dr. Lamb found a way to shape that girl into something perfect, something holy. She's a daughter to us all. Nobody in Rapture will shelter you now. 
Grace has got the wrong idea. You're not responsible for turning Eleanor into a little sister. Big daddies are just slaves, and you only recently broke free. The monster has taken another of our children, family. He would turn her from us just as he did to Eleanor. Show this thing what befalls the boogeyman when he steps into our garden. says, piss off and die, shit out. Well, sport, I guess Gracie's home, but that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now, to break through that mess, I expect you're gonna have to work out how he got so burly. Find yourself a genetic research camera, son. You can pick up any number of tricks from a splicer with one of those. Try the pawn shop downtown. That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? Easy now. Looks like you got the jump on this fella. Start your camera recording him, then hit him with a little bit of everything. Plasmids, firearms, whatever you can dish out. That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splice a tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take them out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. There's one of those big goons now. Start your camera rolling on him, and then let him have it. Look at you, Sport, a regular junior shutterbug. And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. Here, Father, it's yours. You are evolving fast, but your heart is getting weaker. I can keep you alive, but you must find me. For Grace, the paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her? Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. Now Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key. The baby snatcher's headed up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy feels no pain. But we are the family and we can teach him how. Blood divides us, monster. It's blood that makes us strangers. But thanks to Dr. Lamb, we're all family now. One people. One cause. You can stop this heart, bleed this old body, but you cannot end the family. And as for you, Tin Daddy, you're dying alone.
Andrew Ryan told me that in Rapture, it didn't matter where you came from. Bunk! Times got hard, and all our old bigotries bubbled right back up. But Dr. Lamb showed us that down under the skin, down under the money, down under our very name, we are family. Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. We both, we both died, died tonight, tonight monster. monster. I, because, because your, your kind has, has killing, killing in its nature. nature. And, and you, you because, because there's, there's no, no way, way the family, family will let you let stroll, stroll out alive with that key. Empty house. Only an echo to my name. Eleanor. Baby, where are you? I turned my back and someone took you. It happened so quick. I'm not even a half mama to you, girl. I couldn't protect you. This poster of Dr. Lamb in my room is staring me down like it knows I'm ashamed. I've always been loyal to your real mother, Eleanor. Always trusted her with my secrets. But I lost you. What will the doctor think of me now? I know what you're here for. Go on, take it. I won't have you touching me. Dr. Lamb trusted me to care for her child. And I tried. But baby Eleanor disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you, looking wrong. And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down. Broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in and finish the job. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed for what it's worth. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away? No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family, but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. These whirlybirds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. Well, sir, I don't know what to call you now. You've done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. By sparing grace, do you seek to gain my trust? A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt. But I am not so easy a mark.
Hear me, O oh, ye who would murder the Lamb of God. Ye shall never reach her God. <laughs> Kid, come on, wake up now. There you are. I thought you rode that torpedo into the grate hereafter. I'm in Dionysus Park now. Train cars are shambles, leaking air. Whole damn place is flooded and sealed. But there's a pumping station back there on Siren Alley, and I believe you could jerry-rig it to drain the park out. That'd let you stroll right inside. Get to those pumps and hurry. I see Father Wales has parted you from your craft, and yet you cling to life. Congratulations. Today, Delta, you meet a man who has no fear of death, and for Eleanor, he would burn with a smile. The Beast of Ryan lives! Gather the family! Mother of mercy, I think that was Simon Wales. What's he done to himself? He and his brother were Rapture's architects, but when Doc Lamb came along, Simon got religion. He's got a kind of church down in the pumping station. Expect a reckoning when you arrive. Ah, now through this junction is the rest of the alley, including the very pumping station we're after. Father Wales has been recruiting Holy Rollers down there for lamb. stuck till the backups kick in. I'll help you hold them back. Check the new mode. Know this, beast. Daniel's body may go cold, but his soul rests with the child of the lamb. You shall roast and blacken in the pit, and it'll be a grieving brother sent you there. <laughs> Boy, sport, I think you're closing in on Simon's underground temple. Now get down to pumping station number five and drain out the park here. Oxygen's running thin in this train car, and I'd sure hate to see our partnership cut short. Ask yourself, Delta. You, who have suffered beyond measure at the hands of men like Ryan, what is the cost of paradise? To end pain, to end sin, what must we pay? Eleanor is my answer. Each of you know the child of the Lamb. Through Adam, our soul shall pass into her holy blood and will be reborn as a single immaculate body. But the beast is upon us, children. It wears a hide of iron, and its hands are death and change. It would seize the child from us, and with her, paradise itself! Be ye soldier of the ground, or angel of the sky, ye must stand fast and send it howling back to hell!
pump control ought to be in the back. One thing, though. Once you transfer the suction to Dionysus Park, we've got a tiny window of opportunity to get you inside. I don't have much air left, but I'll hang in there. You make sure you're ready before you throw that switch. Do you think me a tyrant, Delta? Vying for control of a dead man's dream? The city is nothing. Rapture must die so that Elena may rise from its body. Allow me to demonstrate. Lambs overloading the pumps. The place is coming down. Get to Dionysus Park. Subject Delta, I want you to commit this moment to memory for me. This howling, brutish slog through the dark. This is who we are. Get out of there, kid! It is the world for which you strive. You, alone among the dead. Dionysus Park was owned by Sophia Lamb, Chief. Sort of a private retreat for her social experiments. One night it flooded, killing all her guests. Paper said it was cult-related. Come on up to the train station. Let's rendezvous. Well, the good news is I've located a new train car, but the station's still locked down, and we're not alone in here. I see a shadow in the security booth. I'll lay low while you have a gander. Oh, hello, boys. The name's Stan Poole, Rapture Tribune. Quality paper. <laughs> before the locals stopped reading and started finding uh, other uses for it. Anyway, I'm uh, looking to cut a deal, fellas. Come by the train station. I'm here in the booth. Dionysus Park was my home, Delta. An experiment in social unity cut short by human folly. You dishonor its memory with every step. Now that, see, Lamb knows you're here, but uh, I'm incognito. Thing is, since you drained out the park, the little sisters are already starting to uh, nose around, looking for Adam, and uh, I can't have that. Okay, so dead men tell no tales, right? <laughs> Wrong. See, with Adam involved, every stiff's got a story. And Lamb knows how to read it. If that stuff makes it back to her, I'm an obituary. So, I want you to take the story of Dionysus Park and bury it. Get rid of the little sisters for me. Your way. Do that, and I'll unlock the station here. <laughs> Scout's honor. Well, I'd say he's hiding something, but he sort of took the fun out of that one. He's locked in the security booth, however, so we'll have to play along. Find those sisters. You mistake my nature, Delta. I wish no Adam for myself. Eleanor is the dream, and she needs neither weapons nor parlor tricks. Are we Danny? Smart, 
See? You put it to work, and all that Adam ends up in you. But you're sort of a silent partner. So that's tops with me. Adam is Rapture Delta, the finest minds of paradise in a single sublime mosaic, Eleanor. Consider the genius you deny her with every stolen drop. here. Normally, only a little sister can see them, but I can show you what Stanley is trying to hide. When Mother was taken away, Stanley was left in charge of Dionysus Park. He spent all her money through these mad parties. It was like he was trying to ruin her. You okay there? Keep your eye on the brass ring, brother. Find the rest of the sisters. Subject Delta's just a serial number, amigo. I did a lot of digging on you for a feature once. They used to call you Johnny Topside. Found the city all on your own in a diving bell. Real shame what they did to you. There she is. Little Tyke wants to be in pictures. Real cute. Now get rid of the muscle and deal with her. That's me there. I confronted Stanley, said I'd tell Mother what he had done. He panicked, took me away and sold me to an orphanage. I tried to fight back. I remember biting his hand, but... Father, he's the reason I was turned into a little sister. Now, you were just a deep-sea explorer with iron cojones, pal. The public gave it a nickname, but Ryan was sure you were a spook. So his people locked you up, erased your damn name. Goodbye, Johnny Topside. Hello, Subject Delta. When all this is over and we're divvying up Rapture's bounty, you and I'll be holding court on a private island, son. Think of it, each world power on bended knee, holding a bouquet made of money. With me gone, father, Stanley just let mother's followers turn into animals. When word came that she was returning, he knew they would blame him, so he found a way to silence them all, and now he's trying to cover it up. That's it! Now all that old dirt stays underground, and Lamb will be none the wiser. Hey, come on back. I've unlocked the train for you. But remember, if Lamb catches you, mum's the word. Delta, our conflict of interest seems to be upsetting Eleanor. For her sake, I have made it clear to these men. Through Adam, Eleanor will become the daughter of the people, a true utopian, brilliant beyond measure, but utterly selfless. As she ascends, Delta, you and I will seem as dogs circling and snarling amid the afterbirth. 
Doc Lamb's turning up the heat, Chief. Head on back to the train station. Let's hit the trail. Subject Delta. I have known for years of Stanley's betrayal here and had forgiven him. But in compromising Eleanor now, he seals his fate. You see, it was Stanley who turned you into Ryan. He is responsible for what you have become. The security booth is open now. You may have your revenge. Sweet Jesus. Lamb, no! And she just let me hang myself out the... Oh, God! No, no, no. Come on, pal. The, the, the train's ready. Just... Just let me live! Oh, Christ Almighty. I, I swear it wasn't personal, okay? This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. October 9th, 1967. Hello. <clears throat> My name is Gilbert Alexander, and by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last-ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. Hmm. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son. to be Gil Alexander, same man who left that message we're following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. Initiating bioscan. Identifying clearance level. I I identified clinical trial subject. Cla cla classification. Protector. Designation. Designation. Delta. Status. Dis dis deceased. Error. Updating status. Lee 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 stand by.
Hello again. I... I have been exposed to a massive dose of substance, Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses on Mars. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself... Ah, uh, and on that cheery note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the vocal print locks ahead and enter the security office. The password is Agnes Day. Please see password to enter. Agnes Day. Access granted. Welcome, Gil Alexander. I heard that. My likeness is company property, Delta, just like you are. Don't make me strip you for parts, Milado! Please see password to enter. I warned you. He's jamming the voice print lock with that awful crooning. See if you can find some way to sabotage his control of building security. Delta, you're dawdling. The security office is well above your pay grade. If you're so keen to help, the restrooms need a good scrap. Here's a clerk or two to help you along. You dare touch that signal relay, Delta? Its value is ten times your own! I'm very disappointed in you, Delta. Destruction of a Fontaine asset is punishable by summary dismissal. Shall I simplify that for you? Fired! 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 You're staying competitive. Step on up and take the spotlight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Fontaine Futuristics invites you to shed your skepticism, evolve your expectations, and dissolve your doubt as we unveil the revolutionary power of our home defense plasmid series. May I have a volunteer from the audience? Come now, don't be shy. How about you, sir? No, he's positively rigid. You, Mark, at the back. Oh, come on down. Let's give it a hand, folks. A round of applause, please, for Subject Delta and the power of plasmids. Delta, it looks like you've upstaged a fellow demonstrator and he's here to steal the show. What will Delta do now, folks? Still a winner, Delta. 
The tour was never the same without you. And to think you were so spliced you couldn't stand when we stuffed you into that get-up. The Fontaine family retirement plan suits you to a T, my boy. ventured here in search of Conquest Delta. Fontaine, Ryan, and now you. But every aspiring Caesar must learn to fear the knives of his fellows. Ask yourself, what does Sinclair stand to gain in guiding you here? <laughs> Hello again. I must assume by now that you're willing to help end my life. In exchange, I have prepared a friendly security escort for you. Ah, uh, now. Uh, there's a switch in here which will allow you access to the real laboratories where... where what's left of me awaits you. Please, use it. As I recall from my time doing business with the owners, that Oxyfill station out there is just a front for a kind of hidden passage leading down below. If Lamb's hiding Eleanor from you, that's where she'll be. I'm afraid the lights in here sting my eyes terribly now. Until you arrive to deal with me, they will remain off. Please. Locate the breakers and flip them, and then return here to restore power. Sophia and I knew that to create the first true utopian would come at a high cost, my friend. We needed someone to be host to all that Adam, Rapture's finest minds. A willing subject, that is to say, myself. Whatever you may have seen inside the tank, that was indeed me. I fear the fate of Eleanor Lamb will be less physical, but no less grotesque. This tank for deep sea life is the ideal way to dispose of me. But first, you must retrieve enough adam-infused plant life to lure me out. The slugs feed on the stuff, and it's all I seem to want now. I have left a sample here so you know what to look for. I see you out there, Delta. You want to be top man? You want to sit in the big chair? Well, come and take it. Well, listen, son. Those override keys you've been hunting are genetically encoded. And to get to Eleanor, you're gonna need one from Alex the Great in there. First things first, we gotta pin him down. Find those plants he mentioned, 
and lure him back out. We can't have you running around the laboratories in your condition. Marching around, playing daddy, until some splicer manages to kill off their sister. And then, if the coma doesn't take them, they turn maniac. Nothing left to do but scream. Uh, no offense intended, son. We better get you to Eleanor, on the double. Your body begins to tear itself apart. The compulsion to find Eleanor will drive you to madness or coma. You have no claim on her. Your design was among Rapture's greatest sins. And yet, you persist. Why? This is where they bound us together, Father. Plain God, you were the only good thing that Rapture ever gave me. She was not meant to have a father, Delta. She was to be an heir to my life's work. And this is where they changed her, bonding her to you. The child she was died in this room. Mother has destroyed. Dr. Alexander. She tried to splice him into some kind of living saint who would calculate the common good and adhere to it tirelessly. But now he's become something unspeakable. Mother's philosophy is just as corrupt as Ryan's. By her standards, it would be better to have the entire world equally miserable than to allow us to strive in our own behalf. I have to get out of here. We put our eldest sister through a new regimen of physical and mental conditioning and suited her up with modified protector equipment of my design. The younger ones have dubbed her a big sister. Sadly, this is a stopgap. Between rogue splicers and the aging of the girls, we'll run out of viable little sisters soon. After that, the surface may be our only source. Poor Gilbert. It was his will to die, Delta. To serve the majority by protecting them from his lunacy. Your entire journey here is based on your refusal to do the same. Will you grant his request, knowing that he served the family? Rebirth, huh? Sure, you live forever, but minus your body. I like my body, kid. I don't feature the idea of my memories and personality being stored in the head of some saintly child, like just one more dusty old book in the library. Notice to all employees, Subject Delta is hereby Dismissed. Escort them from the premises! No. I don't want it. I can't resist. How dare you try to buy me out with this 
this bribe, this penance, this sublime. God damn you, Delta! I know it. Ah, <laughs> perfect, son. You reeled him in. Now, use that console there to take a gene sample. It should print up a genetic key automatically. This is... You got the key to Lamb's hideout sport. Eleanor's down there. Now just head out to the Oxyfill station and use it. It is done. The sample disposal button on the panel in front of you will administer a massive jolt of electricity to the tank. More than enough to kill me. Whatever I may say to dissuade you, do not listen. The man whose voice you hear now is long gone. As my mind fades, I find my thoughts turn to the suffering that Eleanor will be made to endure, and I am overcome with pity. But I can only offer my feeble prayers. Perhaps after my death, you can do more. Now, please, I ask you to grant me peace. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you. You, you don't have to kill me, Delta. I'm sorry. Please. I will go outside. I will live outside. This is the Oxyfill station, Chief. But don't be fooled by the facade. This is the way in. Use that key now. Persephone, we're finally here. Find Eleanor, son, and fast. Her mama's got all rapture dying to keep you two apart. That's her son, Eleanor Lamb. No matter what you might be feeling right now, this is business. Get that cage open. She's coming with us. How will she remember us after this moment? I have placed my pieces on the board, as expected, as have you. Is this what she hoped for? Mother and father, locking eyes. Yet still we are blind. Goodbye, Subject Delta. And take heart, for you, at least, have escaped your legacy. Chambers waiting on you. Get in there. You'll see your hero. Look at her, Delta. 
10 years and still she dreams of you. 50 seconds remaining. Do you know why Eleanor brought you here? She wanted a father. So she found a way to restore you in body and mind. watching you ever since, exalting your every act as gospel. The girl lying on that bed is no longer my child, nor my life's work. She is a monster shaped by you alone, just as she has always wanted. 20 seconds remaining. But there is one detail of your mutual bond she failed to account for. Your body was designed to lapse into a coma when her heart ceases to beat. Eleanor, forgive me. <laughs> His body is shutting down now, naturally. But if he dies of trauma, he will return elsewhere. Full restraints at all times. No one enters this room until he expires. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I'm so sorry. Mother stopped my heart long enough to sever our bond. Staying near me won't stop you from dying now, or worse. But I can still help you escape. This little sister's brought you something that will allow you to take control of her. strange father but now you can see through her eyes and tell her where to go this is how i brought you back without mother catching on now first let's get you out of here She's holding us in. Find a way to slip in there. You're in. There should be a lever in here somewhere. Pull it, and it will unlock our cells. Attention! Augustus Sinclair has been sighted within the facility. He will attempt to reach Subject Delta. All family duties are hereby suspended until he is found. What Mother did to me left me very weak, or I would do this part myself. To save your life, I'm going to have to change to be like you. From here, you should be able to locate the pieces of a big cyst suit. Please, bring them to me.
years, father, stuck in this, this fever dream. Mother kept me sedated in order to perfect my mind with Adam. To her, the ideal child is a genius, serving the common good without questioning it. You have saved me from that. There's a piece of the suit in here, father. Find the rest and bring them back to me. sisters are made from me in part as they grow up in rapture i feel it all when you were with the little ones they trusted you as their father because of me was right about one thing. I have been watching you, Father, studying the way you have treated others. And now I know who I am. I am free. After everything Mother has done to me, I am alive and sane enough to be curious about the sun. When you rescued my new sisters, I felt every one. And it gave me hope for the first time in years. Now I will do the same for all the others, starting with this one. We've done it, Father. I'll be there soon. These suits always did make me think of you, Father. I guess I still remember you in shining armor. But now it's my turn to fight for you. Take this plasmid. You can use it to call me to your side in a fight. Subject Delta, I know you can hear me. You have stolen my life's work, and with it, my only daughter. But Rapture, is the house of monsters. The surface will not have us. And now, we shall be buried as a family, side by side. Oh God, she's going to drop this building into the trench. It's miles deep. We have to find Sinclair. Oh, this one's mine. This is Sinclair's lifeboat, Father. Out the window here. It's our only chance of escape. From what I know of Sinclair, he wouldn't just abandon it. Yes, Delta. What of Sinclair? The man who would sell paradise. And where is he now? 
Warning. Warning. A security curfew is now in effect. All cells and bulkheads are sealed until further notice. This facility hangs over an ocean trench delta. The family has activated timed charges within its foundations. Surrender before detonation, or we shall fall and be crushed in the abyss below. Mother has locked all of Persephone down, including the gangway leading to the lifeboat. We can reverse it from the holding wing if we hurry. Come on! Use the plasmid if you need me, Father. I'm going to have a look around. This is an emergency. Subject Delta has escaped. Eleanor Lamb has turned on her own door. Stand and fight, or the Rapture family falls together. We have to get you out of Rapture, Father. It's the only way I can save you now. Don't you recognize Sinclair, Delta? Now he is what you should have been. One final Alpha series, ready to die for the family. As Persephone's former owner, he is the ideal man to put you back in your cage. Mother's controlling Sinclair, father, and he's got the master key. Catch him! Kid, lamb's in my head. I, I can't help myself. I have to fight just to talk. Left me my goddamn tongue to torture the bomb codes out of me. She wants me to stop you leaving. I... I'm sorry. Eleanor, I know you can hear me. I am inside Sinclair's lifeboat now. Delta cannot reach me here, but you can. You need not die with him. We... We shall return to the surface together, if you will only step inside and accept your duty. Remember, Eleanor, Mummy loves you. Ah, yes. Mother's testing me. One last game. Fortunately, by now, I'm the world's full- Kid, I'm sorry. I, I've locked you in here. Lamb's making me dance on her goddamn strings. I can't stop. You're gonna have to break in here and put me down. Wish there was another way, but I'd rather die a man than live like this. God, he's right, Father. Mother's betting you'll die in here or that I'll abandon you before the bombs detonate. We can't save Sinclair now. We need that key from him. Find the code to the watchtower, or work out a way to draw him out. Son, I built this place, and I, I did rent you out to those plasma trials up at Fontaine. And now, now I'm paying for it. Wish I had time to make amends. Take the lifeboat, it, it's all yours. Just don't leave me like this. Sinclair is moving, Father. Track him down. We need that. <laughs> so long, kid. And thank you. Now, Father, I'm afraid that ending the lockdown means releasing all the prisoners. So please, be ready before you use that key on the override switch. Sinclair died a hero of the Rapture family, Delta. Was he a friend to you, or just a tool? 
Can you even grasp the difference? And Eleanor, you have chosen Subject Delta over your mother, your people, and the duty of your birth. So be it. You believe this craft will carry Delta to safety, like a spoilt child with a new toy. I have no choice but to take it away. Curfew lifted. All cell blocks open. All bulkhead seals released. Oh no. Mother's turned her attention to the lifeboat. We must go there, now! from me, Delta. Soon, this father obsession will end her. You have left me without want. Before you die, I will take all that you hold dear. Sinclair is just another body in your wake. I was afraid of this. Mother has bombed out the ballast compressors, Father. The lifeboat will be too heavy to launch. Unless... Let me think. I think I can boil away the water and get the lifeboat to rise. But I can't generate that much heat alone. It's time to recruit the rest of Mother's little sisters. We're taking them with us. Head to the pediatric wards. Let her take you from me again, Father. Hold on. Every word I speak. Mother's people are starting to detonate the charges. We don't have long. <laughs> <laughs> when you've cleared them out, I'll need a signal. Push the call button on the window there, and then I'll proceed. <laughs> I'll wake the children up. They're stronger than they know. With their help, I should be able to boil off the water and get us all out of here. Go on ahead, Father. I'll free them as quickly as I can, just as you showed me. You are not saving them, Delta. No matter how pure your intent. The surface is not paradise, but perdition. I would sooner see them drown. Look, Father, I know you may not have wanted a daughter, but love is just a chemical. We give it meaning by choice. I will be damned if I let Mother take you away from me again. The Plasmid Father, just point the way and I'll help you fight. Eleanor was to be a composite of all Rapture's genius. The first living utopian, serving the world at large with no regard for herself. To force consciousness on such a being is to tear its wings away. That was your gift to her, Delta. Just as she hoped. You must be very proud. Steady, Father. Don't let go now. We're nearing another pediatric ward. It will be guarded, Father. Get ready. When you've cleared them out, I'll need a signal like before. Push the call button and I'll proceed. We're ready for the ballast tank. I can boil off the water and get us out of here. 
We must return to the docking platform, Father, now. You granted Eleanor the will to choose. And now, like a plague, she spreads it to those innocents. To be self-aware is a curse, Delta. You are damning them. I'm stepping inside the ballast tank, Father. Come up to the glass once you're ready for me to begin. There's no going back once we start. You would rip my only daughter from her home and family and feed her to a world without hope. Though Utopia may die with her, I would sooner see us fall. Goodbye, Eleanor. Mother will be waiting for you. Here they come, Father! Hold them off until I can bring it to a boil. I've done it, Father. The ballast water is gone. Release the docking mechanism. Father, we have to equalize the pressure in here or the door won't open. Destroy those glass tubes to flood the room. We... we've done it, Father. We're launching. Get to the elevator. me that evil is just a word. Under the skin, it's simple pain. For you, mercy was victory. You sacrificed, you endured, and when given the chance, you forgave. Always. Mother believed this world was irredeemable, but she was wrong, Father. We are Utopia, you and I. And in forgiving, we left the door open for her. The rapture dream is over, but in waking, I am reborn. This world is not ready for me, yet here I am. It would be so easy to misjudge them. You are my conscience, Father, and I need you to guide me.
You will always be with me now, father. Your memories, your drives. And when I need you, you'll be there on my shoulder, whispering. If Utopia is not a place, but a people, then we must choose carefully, for the world is about to change. And in our story, Rapture was just the beginning. <laughs>